anyway, hey, um, I'm not really sure what this video is for, I just wanted to give you guys, like, some kind of update, thingamajig, kind of thing, also, I just want an excuse to put on makeup and talk to you guys, so, yay, I'm trying to work out, like, what exactly I'm trying to do with this whole YouTube thing, and if I'm going to use it the same way I use Tumblr, or if I'm going to, you know, try different things with that, I'm not sure, but to show how uh, goal-oriented I am, I bought this little notepad. You can see that. You see? It's a little notepad. It's very thick. That I'm going to write video ideas on. Just having things written down is so much of a... it's a better... it gives me better organization. Like, I think I'm going to get a bulletin board or something. Or like a dry erase board that I can put up in my room so I can stay focused on things. But, um, I also got this pad. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for. Really, I'm just showing you things that I bought. Look at that. Isn't that cute? It's so cute, right? I love this. And I'm not, and the, and the, and the line, the, it's rolled in pink. I don't know if you can see it. But it is. I love this notepad. I don't know. I just bought it things I, I I also bought a bunch of like notepads and stuff because I decided I'm going back to school either fall or early next year I'm not really sure which one um I pretty much told myself fall but now that I'm like actually starting to prepare for it I don't think I'm ready like it's been two years since I've been in high school so going on three so yeah like this June will be three years out of high school and I'm scared shitless y'all but gotta get it done gotta gotta get that higher education but um I'm not really sure what I want to go for but I know I will just want to really just get math and English and stuff and history and all that out of the way so I can actually like focus on what I really do want to study and it's somewhere between music production and photography and I'm not really sure which I'm gonna end up going with they're both things I really enjoy learning about and miss learning about especially photography because photography class during high school was honestly so much fun and it crushed me that I couldn't be in photography my senior year Oh, that was a, my senior year was a mess anyway for many, 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 many reasons. The reason that I've been out of school so much, one, because I had always planned on taking a year off after high school because, I don't know, school settings and like academic settings and like being a student, that kind of thing stresses me out, period. I was one of those gifted kids that like had it really, really easy during like middle and high school, middle in uh, elementary school because I was in all these advanced classes and I was so smart and I didn't have to study and then when I got to high school about everything kicked my ass especially junior and senior year it was and then on top of that you know I was getting more social and boys and all it couldn't fuck my entire year up it was my fault I can fully admit that um but I got through it got my cap which is right beside me you can't see it but it you see it yeah high school graduate woo see victoria i love that hat i'm gonna be really sad if, when someone buys it we're gonna get into that li later but um back to school anyway um and then senior year especially not even academic that was when um my body decided it wanted to start being a dick so got really sick and I still I'm still not really like comfortable talking about like what happened um I've told uh, I've told people like straight up what's wrong with me and stuff like my family and my friends and stuff and of course you know my immediate family mom dad sister know what was wrong um but like for people who weren't really like understanding what I, I kind of you know talk to them about it but like on a grand scale and even like on tumblr I'm not really comfortable talking about it that much but I will like explain it to people if I'm comfortable. So, so if you missed a couple, you know, posts about me talking about it, 
don't worry about it. Um, it's not, it's not, um, it's not a fatal illness, thank God. Uh, but I did have a fatal condition which made them realize that I had this other thing going on. Um, but because I was in the children's hospital and I was 17 years old, luckily they didn't tell me, hey, you could have died from this. So that was really nice of them. So, um, just know it's, it, it's, it's, a, it's a chronic illness, but it's completely treatable. Um, it's just really, 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 really hard to work with. It makes me really, really unreliable, which is why I couldn't go right into school. And also because... I'm afraid of establishment, but it also makes it very difficult for me to keep a job or even like really set down times where I could work and stuff like that. So yeah, working from home and going to school online are really kind of saving my ass. So I'm going to continue doing that. And as I get better uh, managing my body and my symptoms and all kinds of stuff, I will eventually, you know get out of the fucking house, maybe. <laughs> I'm kind of comfortable being a hermit, to be honest. Uh, but then again, comfortable is not really the word I want to use. I'm a very uncomfortable person at all times, so <laughs> I'm most comfortable inside. So, um, on to my shop. I am going to get better managing my hat shop and making more hats and making other things to go on it, knitting, crocheting, um, doing sweater recons and stuff like that. I think I only have two hats up there that are actual sweater recons and not things that I actually knitted or crocheted. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make more things with that because I'm not, once again, I'm not good with time management and organization. But, um, recently I've gotten really, really, like, completely scatterbrained with that and like I, I had an order that went overdue for two weeks so I didn't even realize I had it and I felt so bad um I actually sent that out this morning because I just I it didn't ping in my head at all because I've just been so out of it but I'm going to get better with that this this entire the rest of this year really is I'm gonna try to get better or whatever somebody don't buy that hat I love that hat I'm kidding buy it please I'm broke I'm very broke and also I just enjoy making things and apparently like that's something I could put on a resume because I'm a business owner but now that it's just something my parents tell me I just make things and put them on the internet which I've been doing for a very very long time um I was looking at a lot of like stuff from my my old computer like my desktop computer the one I used in middle school I was reading a bunch of my old like fanfics and stuff and I was just like yo have I ever not lived some kind of like vicarious life through the media I consume like have I ever not done that I can remember like before I even started writing and stuff like I was always just kind of immersed in whatever I was you know feeling at the time I don't know if that's a bad thing. I think it has made me a lot more creative. And it's also the reason that I do better writing things down. <laughs> I, I'm not a good uh, verbal explainer of things. I do so much better typing or writing. Which is another reason that I need to get back into school because even that's getting a little rusty. Well, not rusty, but like <laughs> academic wise. Like, I can talk for days about other things, but like school, and we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. Um, I'm sorry, I ran over. I don't know why Snoop will always sit like in between the legs of this chair and then anytime I move it he gets mad and I'm just like yo you're the one sitting right there you're look at yeah I'm talking about you go to your pillow it's a weird dog um 
excuse me. But anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about. Um, I don't believe anything I plan on doing on YouTube will suffer because of, you know, me going back to school or focusing on things like being like a YouTuber or something. I don't know. It's It seems like a, it seems like a, a job like a job or like a thing that certain people who have like it seems like something that I should be doing considering I have a lot of free time I'm uh, always at home and I do enjoy uh video things you know like I like I like editing and stuff I like filming things it seems like something I think I could be good at but I have to find my niche you know um even though I do love K-pop and talking about K-pop and being, you know, a K-pop blogger or whatever, even with my my like blog and my online life being like 80% K-pop. I mean, before it was 80% bands, like and even then I would show interest in other things including K-pop, but like I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a one track mind kind of person you know I can't focus on like I can't be like okay my YouTube is going to be for K-pop and K-pop only I cannot promise you that that will most likely not happen um I will I will post about other things like this right here this isn't K-pop based this is just me living somewhat <laughs> a really crappy version of living that you should not uh aspire to in any way Basically just um, moving from wasting time on the internet and doing something productive with it. Uh, I mean, I already don't think I'd like waste time on the internet because, you know, it's a great escape kind of thing. Like if you're focused on like serious things in your life and, and the school and work and da 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 you don't have any time to like really immerse yourself in something that is not uh, relying on those things or like a really serious thing like music and TV shows and stuff like immerse yourself in those things because it helps me relax so should help you maybe haven't been a very relaxing week in the K-pop fandom on Tumblr but it's what are you going to do? It's it's a thing. It's things that happen. We're not going to talk about them. We are not going to talk about them here. I told you that in my in my um I was lying video. Like I said, better at writing. I will write about them on my blog. But uh yeah, I really don't have anything else to say. I'm just kind of rambling. I'm very yellow. I wish this light is like really bright but then if I like point it away it washes me out because of the red the the, the blue wall but you know what that's okay I'm not really sure how long this hair is gonna stay up because it's the first time I did yarn twists without like braiding them first like I just went straight into twisting there are a lot of like hairstyles I want to try before I let them go. I don't part my hair to this side because I don't want to cover up my piercings. <laughs> this looks really weird. <laughs> okay. I'm done now. You can go about your life. Thank you for watching if you did. Um, possibly more videos coming up. I'm not a fortune teller. I'm not a psychic, so I do not know when. Might be tomorrow, might be two weeks from now, might be three months from now. Who knows? Uh, hopefully not three months. I'm going to try to be more <laughs> consistent than that. Um, yeah. I'm going to turn this off now because I'm going to keep going. Um, yeah. And, oh, yeah, yeah, so, uh, bye, goodbye, goodbye. See my dimples?
There's a weird right here, right here, and then this little tiny one right here. But this one's bigger. The ones on this side are bigger. See? Is that weird? I don't know what that is. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Bye, guys.